When you share your computer with family members or friends, Windows 10, by default, will show a list of accounts that are there, even when you're on the lock screen. Now, however, there are times that you may not want to show the additional accounts that to be listed. For an example, accounts that who only log in remotely to their computer, or an account that you want to keep secret from regular users. Let's say if you want to have them limited and have an administrator account that's still there. While the operating system doesn't offer an option to just pick your user to appear on the sign-in screen, you can easily hide any user from being listed and modified by the registry. So let's go ahead and get started. Now by default, um, we see names that are there. We see one that's named John Smith. We don't know if this user is fully just a username called John Smith. It could just be a display name because that's how they show the names on Windows 10. So to be sure, let's go ahead and just go to start and go ahead and type in netplwiz. And here is actually his real name. His full name to display is John Smith, but his username is John. So let's go ahead and slide it and copy it to make this a little bit easier. The next thing you're going to do is go ahead and go to start and type in reg edit. You may be prompt by the UAC. Go ahead and press yes if you want to be able to edit. The next thing you're going to have to do is go into see the H key local machine. Go ahead and select it and expand it. Do the same steps by going to software, go to Microsoft, scroll all the way down until you see Windows NT then current version. I'm going to go ahead and slide these over because you can't see the other text. Scroll down all the way until you see when log on. Once you get to there, you're going to have to create a new folder. Um, this folder is going to be called special accounts. So to do this, you would right click on it and select new key. Name it special accounts. Now it's not fully just going to be created after that. You will then have to create another key underneath special accounts called user list. Now, once you have created the new special accounts and user list, you will then have to create a new D word value. So to this, you would right click and select D word. On the name, it's going to be named John, like what I put, if it has your name, I copied it so you can actually can just paste it and it should be set to the value of zero. Now let's go ahead and sign out and see if that user is still on display or not. Right now, it is showing that John does not exist. It only shows that the administrator, the admin account, sorry, not administrator, it's just a local admin name, go ahead, that it's not there. So let's go ahead and sign back in. Now, if you want to make that hidden account visible, it's a very simple steps. You would do the exact same thing by going into registry, follow the steps by prompting the UAC. You will need to go to the same locations again to local machine, software, Microsoft, scroll all the way down until you see Windows NT, current version, let me slide this over for you, scroll all the way down until you see Windows log on, Win Logon, and go to Special Accounts, User List, and we're going to change John's value back to 1. Now you can do this exact same step by also just deleting the account, and it would follow the exact same steps, but let's go ahead and see if it did the steps for him to appear again. So I'm going to go ahead. Right now it's showing that John is back, but let's find out. And look at that. John Smith is back. And that's basically it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I'll see you on our next video.